Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial of the framework series, we discussed how we create, how we set up and configure the browser type from the config.properties files. So if we can switch and run the test on different browsers, right? So I set up this for the Firefox, Chrome and Edge browser. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to the discuss how we create the testng suit file and how then parameterized the test from the suit XML file to run the test on browsers based on the value we pass from the suit XML file. For moving to the tutorials, if you are coming first time and you have not subscribed the channel, Please subscribe the channels, click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification. Okay, now let's set up how we configure and run the test to run on browsers from the suit XML file where I will show how we run the test parallel as well as the sequence from the test ng suit XML. So in that case, I can create another uh, source package source folder like src slash test slash resources right because we are using here maven project and the test resources we need to put under the src test resources folder click on finish button right let's create here one folder that is test ng Okay, here. Then next, let's create a XML file that is testng suit dot XML. Testng suit XML file is created. Now we need to here add the testng suit file. So let me copy from here, right? So this is the format of the testng suit file. If you don't know about the testng suit files, so I have created a separate video for the testng uh, play in the testng playlist. So please watch that. You can learn how we create the testng suit file, how we parameterize all those you will know. So let's here add the name. So suppose that I am going to give the name of the Chrome browser because I will run this test on Chrome. Then here we need to include the test. So let's get the test. So test is un available under the com selenium test for package. So let's copy this. This package. And then test name is login. So give the class name here login. Now this suit XML file is ready and we can run this on a Chrome browser. But before that, you know, I have configured here the Firefox. So if we run the test, it will pick the browser type from here and then it will run the test on Firefox. But we want to run this on Chrome browser. And right? uh, pass a parameter, right? So like there is a parameters and then we need to pass the name. So like here, I am giving the name equal to browser name and its value equal to Chrome. So now we need to receive this browser name value in the test script. So in that case, we can use a parameters, a notation of the test ng. And in bracket, we can create some variable like I am giving the browser name and in the setup in the method we need to pass the browser name variable as a string okay once we receive the uh, parameter value in the browser name then we need to pass this browser name value into the browser type variable because browser type variable we are using here to handle the browsers right which browser we need to invoke so in that case First, we need to check the condition if the browser 
नेम नॉट इक्वल टू नल दिस वैल्यू इज नॉट नल देन आई कैन सेट दिस ब्राउजर टाइप इक्वल टू ब्राउजर नेम नाउ इफ आई रन फ्रॉम द सूट एग्जाम फाइल बिकॉज वी आर पासिंग यूर सूट एग्जाम फाइल एज ए क्रोम वैल्यू and in the config file there is available firefox so what happen first we read the value from the config file then here in the uh, test we force setup method it's because here it's re reading the files getting the uh, value so here in, it is getting the value browser name so browser name value will change the previous value of the browser type it means here now firefox default value which is available in the config file will change by the user browser name value and now in the browser type it holds uh, store the value of chrome and chrome condition will true and it will run the chrome it will run the test on the chrome browser let me run the suit xml file and you can see it will run on the chrome browser yeah chrome browser is invoked and test is running on the chrome test run successfully now if i run the directly test then it will not work let's see yeah you can see it's not running if i go here you will see browser name is required by the before method right so what is the uh, parameters we are passing now this is required parameters so every time when we are running the test we need to provide some browser name right so but if we want to make this optional so we can just use the add rate optional add add rate optional in notice now this is optional whether you are passing or not passing your test will not stop so let me run now if i run this directly from the login test then this value is null because we are not passing the browser name value then in that case the test will run on the default value what we are getting from the config file so default value is now mentioned in config file is firefox so let's see and you will see test will run on firefox browser Yeah, it's invoke the Firefox browser and running the test. Okay, now let's see how we run the test parallel on multiple browsers. In that case, we need to create more test in the suit file, like one for the Chrome, second for Firefox, then third for Edge. Now here we are passing the Chrome browser, Chrome value. It's fine. Then it in that case this test will run on the Chrome browser. Here I if I pass the Firefox, then it will run on the Firefox browser. Here if I run pass the Edge, then it will run on the Edge browser. So I created three tests for the login. One for Chrome, Firefox, Edge. let's run first sequential then i will show how it will run parallel so i am going to run and you will see it will run one by one in all the three browsers to run the test parallel or sequential on multiple browser then we need to change one uh, thing here instead of using the browse before suite we need to call this as a before test right test annotation why because here i am using the static properties value to load the value right so these should be run separately for the separate test if we are using before suite so it's run once other test cases you will get null pointer so that's why here we need to use this as a before test so that it will invoke for each and every test separately now let's go and run the suit xml file and you will see it will run one by one on all the three browsers so let's see so first it launched the chrome browser 
run complete it now it's going to launching the firefox browser and running the test yeah execution done next it's launching the edge browser you can see edge browser is launched and navigated the url yeah enter username and password click on login and execution done so all the login tests run on all the three browsers one by one in sequentially we can include more test script under these classes for the separate for the firefox chrome as well as the edge based on our requirement when we trigger all the classes what we include here that will run on chrome browser all the tests what classes what we include here that will run on firefox similar type this is for edge browser now if you want to run these three set up the test case, test parallel then just use here the test right parallel equal to test now all these three tests start running parallelly let me run you can see here all the three browsers in both parallelly and navigating the urls in all the three browsers yeah execution completed on edge chrome now still firefox is running closed if you see here all the three tests passed if i go here in the test ng you will see all the three tests pass on the, all the three browsers edge chrome and firefox so in this way we can run our test parallelly as well as the sequentially on multiple browsers hope this will be helpful to configure your automation framework to run on multiple browsers right by using the test ng suit xml file you can run parallel as well as sequence and if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification and leave a comment if you have any query thanks for watching the video and let's meet in the next tutorial where we will discuss the next uh, concept of the automation framework